Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to just jump right into this video because I have been thinking about making it for a minute now and I'm finally doing it today. Don't mind my neon green sports bra that you can see through my white shirt. I'm pregnant and I just, can I just say something about pregnancy? So you look at all these things on Instagram and all these pregnant women on Instagram and all this like cute stuff that pregnant people are doing. And you're like, oh my God, pregnancy seems so great. And then you get pregnant and you're like, what the hell are these women doing? How, how, how are you looking that cute pregnant? What is going on? Because I don't even have a job right now. And the last thing I care about is what's on my body. I literally haven't gone anywhere but the grocery store and Target and a couple of my friend's house, friend's houses who's, who've actually gotten the vaccine. So yeah, I'm just like, just gonna put it out there, I'm a hot mess. And I don't think I'm gonna get back into not being a hot mess until after I have this baby. But some of you who are watching this who already have babies are probably laughing at me right now like, girl, you're not going to get back together when you, when you have the baby. You're still going to be a hot mess. So we'll see what happens. Make sure you subscribe so you uh, follow what happens to me after I have this baby. But anyways, today I got my little notebook with me so I don't forget anything. And I'm doing, obviously by the title, second trimester pregnancy symptoms. Now, these are going to be just my symptoms. I don't know what's happening to other people, but this is what has happened to me. So I'm gonna start off by like, what happened first in the second trimester and like move down. Um, right now I'm at 23 weeks today and your second trimester goes to 26 weeks. So I'm almost at the end of my second trimester. And let me just say, it has, flown by it's crazy how fast this goes it's like every week when i hit a new week i'm just like oh my god it's another week it's another week so anyways so it starts at 14 weeks ends at 26 weeks so i'm just gonna jump in symptom number one so if you watched my first trimester symptoms video you'll know i got really bad headaches second trimester my headaches slowed down in the beginning of the second trimester to maybe like once a week. I was getting them like every night. So like once a week and now I barely ever get a headache, like ever. Unless I think it's when I do get a headache, I think it's actually the weather and not my pregnancy, but who knows. Um, so my second trimester second symptom is I started to get more emotional. So I'm not normally an emotional person. I'm not a very big crier. I just, I'm just not, I'm not a sensitive person. But I have been losing my mind this second trimester. Losing it, like losing it. I don't like it, but I'm losing it. Um, number three, my stomach finally started to look like a bump. So first trimester, I didn't look pregnant for a really long time. And then I just looked like I ate like a giant Thanksgiving dinner and I didn't really look pregnant. I just looked like I ate a huge meal all day long. Like I just looked plump, like kind of like purity, like bloated looking, not pregnant. Second trimester, yes, I finally like look pregnant. Like if you saw me, you'd be like, oh my God, you look pregnant. Yes, finally, it came out of my body. Um, number four, my boobs stopped hurting as much. So the first trimester, my boobs hurt all the time. Now they like randomly hurt once in a while. And I think like maybe that day, that they hurt 
they were like growing still i'm not sure but they randomly hurt like once in a blue moon now not all the time like i can go like this nothing's happening it's good let me talk about my nipples though my nipples have not stopped growing growing my nipples are like the size of flying saucers i don't know if they're ever gonna go back to normal is anybody out there who already had a baby please tell me if your nipples go back to normal i'm not sure i'm praying to jesus that they do um number five is i'm not as tired so the first trimester i was super tired all the time one day i slept for like 15 hours i had a migraine that day too but i'm not that tired at all in the second trimester i'm just lazy at this point but i'm not tired um number six oh this is a good one so at 18 weeks i finally felt the baby moving let me tell you the story of how it happened I was on the phone with my insurance company and the lady did not understand the words that were coming out of my mouth. Like I kept asking her the same question and she did not answer my question. She said some other like roundabout answer, not answering my question. And I was getting so frustrated and I felt the baby kick and I was just like, oh my God, the baby moved. And my mom's like, Gabby, your baby can feel if you're upset. You should try not to be angry. It's not good for the baby. And I was like, yeah, but it moved. Like, it really moved. And I do feel like that is true. Like, somehow your baby can sense your emotions. Because me and Jesse got into a fight one day over something so stupid. It wasn't even a fight. It was me just being like overly emotional and like sobbing and thinking like I was holding him back at life or something. I don't know. I just, like I said, I'm losing my mind. So I was like really hysterically crying for no reason whatsoever. And the baby was losing its mind inside of me, like just like going crazy. And I was just like, Gabby, like chill, like chill so long story short when you're upset i feel like it is true your baby knows and it moves a lot um number seven at 20 weeks started to feel him every day so 20 weeks i got my 20 week ultrasound i was gonna make a video about that but it wasn't that exciting like literally i could talk about it in like five seconds went to a 20 week ultrasound you're literally doing an ultrasound for like an hour they scan everything inside of you. It's crazy. They can see like inside the heart, the heart chambers, like inside the brain. They measure everything, see if everything looks good, see if there's anything wrong with the baby. Everything looked good, like literally perfect, which made me happy. And that was about it. And then I got not even a checkup. I went and saw a doctor right after that. And all he did was ask me a couple questions. If I, oh yeah. Should I tell you what I'm having? I'm having a boy. Found out what I'm having at 20 weeks. It's a boy. I was so upset. The lady at the ultrasound thing was like, oh, do you see what it is? And I was like, is that a penis? She's like, yeah, congratulations, you're having a boy. Literally had to hold back tears. I was just like, what? I was like, Jesse, Jesse, it's a boy. And she left to go do something. I cried a little really upset it took me a day to get over having a boy but now i'm fine with it i was really upset like when i say really upset i was really upset again second trimester symptom me losing my goddamn mind swear to god i don't know but anyways so i felt the baby move every day since 20 weeks and when they say it feels like a butterfly I really don't think it feels like a butterfly. To me, it feels like a fish. Like, have you ever gone to the pet store and you bought a fish and they give it to you in a plastic bag and you hold it in both hands and it like hits the side of the bag? That's what it feels like inside your stomach. I don't, I don't know. It just feels way more like a fish than a fluttering bird or butterfly to me. 
Um, number eight, at 20 weeks, it feels like someone is punching me in the vagina. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that on YouTube, but that's what it feels like. It just feels like, you know that exercise machine where you sit on the exercise machine and your legs are like in front of you and then you have to like push your legs together and it's like really hard because there's resistance. It feels like I did like a thousand of those on my vagina like I it just feels like achy like you know that sore pain you get after you work out really hard but there I don't know they say it's because of the weight of your stomach and everything is like pushing down on there so that's what that is but it feels like that not constantly but like when I get off the couch I can feel it just randomly it's not like excruciating pain it just feels sore um number nine i feel like my stomach is growing at a much faster rate now since 19 weeks so towards the end of your second trimester you should be gaining like a pound a week and i feel like every time i look in the mirror every day my stomach looks bigger which is crazy also to kind of go along with that i I'm at my weight that I'm supposed to be at when I have the baby and I'm at 23 weeks. So that's pretty scary. Um, I was trying to like keep my weight in check cause everybody was like, don't gain too much weight. You're going to regret it. And right now I've gained 20 pounds. According to the BMI, I was overweight when I got pregnant only slightly by like five pounds was I overweight. But they said that I was only supposed to gain like 15 to 25 pounds because I was overweight. I'm at 20 pounds at 23 weeks. So if I have to gain a pound a week after this, I'm gonna be almost 200 pounds by the time this baby pops out. And I'm trying not to really worry about it anymore because I feel like I'm not really gaining any weight anywhere other than my stomach. Like my arms, don't look like they're getting bigger. Like nothing else on my body looks like it's getting bigger except for my stomach and my boobs. So I'm gonna just try not to worry about it too much. But my, and plus my doctors haven't said anything about my weight gain. So my blood pressure's good. Every time I go to the doctor, my blood pressure is like really good. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much until somebody says something. Um, number 10, my cravings have changed. All I want to eat is pastries. I want to eat snacky cakes. I want to eat donuts. I want to eat candy bars. I want to eat all the sweets in the whole world. And I'm not a sweet lover. I've never been a person who's been like really big on like sugar. Doesn't really do anything for me. I'd rather eat potato chips than candy any day of the week. But now, I'm like making Jesse come with me to the grocery store in the middle of the night to go get freaking cake. I don't know what's going on with me, but I just really want cake. Also salt. I've been craving a lot of salt. I've been putting so much salt in my food that I think it's not good. So if you eat too much sweets and if you are craving a lot of salt, they say it's like, you might get preeclampsia. I do not want to get preeclampsia. That sounds like a horrible time. But I don't know what to do. Like, I just, all I want to eat is salt and sweet. Um, number 11. After 20 weeks, I did not feel comfortable sleeping anymore. So they say after, I think it's after like 15 weeks, you're not supposed to sleep on your back anymore. Because there's like this giant, like, I don't know, a blood vessel or an artery or something back there on your spine that could decrease the blood flow. So you're not supposed to sleep on your back. All right. I love sleeping on my back. I used to hate sleeping on my back, but then I perfected sleeping on my back because I felt like sleeping on your side made your face get wrinkly. I'm getting old, so I didn't want to have a wrinkly face. So I like really started to sleep on my back. Now I can't sleep on my back anymore. Can't sleep on my stomach, obviously. And then, what side is it? 
when I sleep on my left side, I get heartburn. I don't know why. Every time I sleep on my left side, I get heartburn way more than when I sleep on my right side. But apparently sleeping on your left side is the best side to sleep on. So I wake up like probably five times a night to turn over to the other side. And then I pee a lot. So I'm, I never get like a completely full night's sleep anymore. It's just, I gave up on it. Um, number 12, it's hard to pick stuff up off the floor. I see stuff on the floor and I'm just like, I don't want to get it anymore. I'm, I'm over it. I don't want to pick that up. Like if I drop something, I'm like, Jesse, can you get that? Like, I just, I don't want to bend that far down. I, my, so I have one knee that is kind of crunchy. And when I bend down, sometimes it hurts. And now that I have all this excess weight, it really hurts. So it's like, I bend down to get something out of like a cabinet and it takes me a second to get back up because my knee feels like it's gonna break. That's probably just a me symptom because not everybody has crunchy knees out there, but yeah. Um, number 13. Oh, <laughs> I can't see it anymore. When I shave, it's like, I'm, I'm just like shaving blind now because I can't see anything past my stomach anymore. And what are you going to do? I mean, it's... It's just not visible so like I think I'm gonna get a mirror try to shave that way but I don't know is it weird that I like to shave before I go to the gynecologist like I don't want to scare my gynecologist even though I probably won't because they see vaginas every day but I just I don't know I just don't like to look like a freaking cave woman going to you know the doctor's office just clean it up a little i don't know i don't know what i'm doing anymore with that area to begin with um number 14 since 19 weeks started to get constipated this is a real fun one so i think i'm low-key lactose intolerant and i've been eating a lot of dairy this pregnancy and i had diarrhea a lot like every day and now it's the opposite it's like stuck in me part of me feels like i just gained so much weight because i have a whole bunch of food or like poop backed up in me because it's not coming out of me so that sucked i was constipated for like a week and then i was like chugging water eating beans anything with fiber and then chugging the water water is key they say 14 glasses of water a day i probably drink like a gallon of water a day now because it just you know helps to get things out of you so if you're constipated chug 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 eat some beans um Number 15 is a really good one. So my first trimester, I was sort of breaking out like a psychopath, like just full on breaking out. My chest was breaking out, my back was breaking, like everything on my body was breaking out. Since like 19 weeks, my skin has started to get way better. I still have a few bumps here and there, but nothing too crazy. Um, apparently after a certain amount of time your baby starts producing its own hormone so it kind of takes the load off of you so that helps um, number 16 starting to feel overwhelmed that there's only four months left and this is a real one I have been probably in the last like two weeks super overwhelmed like dang I only have four months left this baby's gonna be here in four months months four months goes by like that that's not that long um so yeah i don't know that's that's really not that long number 17 22 weeks i could see my stomach moving so i'm at 23 weeks now about in the past week 
sometimes when I look down at my stomach, I could actually see it move a little bit, like in one spot, which is really cool because I'm excited. And Jesse can feel it now. Before I could only feel it on the inside, but now he could feel it on the outside too. And it's so weird because sometimes like I'll be holding my own stomach and I could feel it on the outside, but I can't feel it on the inside. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool because now in the past week, I've actually felt it like crazy way more than the past two weeks. So it's always nice to feel it because you're like, I don't know if everybody else is like that, but I have so much anxiety around this pregnancy and somehow this baby dying that I am happy I could feel it all the time because if I couldn't, I think I would even have more anxiety that like something's wrong. You know, I need to like go meditate in the corner. I've had the worst anxiety ever. Like, how do you love something so much and you don't even know it? Like, it's like inside you. You don't know who this person is. You don't know anything about this baby. And yet you're like obsessed with it to the point where it's like, you don't want anything bad to happen. And you're like making yourself crazy thinking like, did I take, let me tell you some things. One day I Googled for like an hour because I was like, oh my God, I took a really hot shower. I wonder if the baby's okay. Like I'm driving myself nuts. Like literally nuts i'm driving myself nuts <sighs> the past couple days i've really tried to be like breathe everything's fine don't be crazy everything is fine it's hard though um number 18 this is the last one the line down my stomach is forming so you ever see like a pregnant person's stomach and they have that like dark line down the middle of it I'm starting to get that. I don't want it. My belly button hasn't popped out yet. Maybe by the end of this second trimester it will, but it hasn't yet. And I don't want the line. Apparently the line goes away after you have a baby. Like after three months or so it should be gone. But I just, I don't want it. I really don't want it. But, so hands down, the second trimester, for the most part, has been much more enjoyable than the first trimester. I read that that was true, but I was like, let me see for myself. And so far it's true. Apparently it's supposed to get real crappy in the third trimester again, but we'll see what happens. I'm just excited. So I live in Wisconsin. It's cold as balls here. And it's getting warmer out. It's like in the 50s this week. So, I'm excited for spring because, like I said, I don't care what I wear. I haven't bought any maternity clothes and my shirts don't fit me anymore. My stomach hangs out the bottom of them and I just really, like, I see jeans, like pregnancy jeans, and I can't do it. Like, the thought of putting jeans on just makes me, like, ugh. Like, they're so stiff and, like, gross and uncomfortable. I don't want to put jeans on. So I'm happy it's turning spring so I could wear skirts. I'm gonna buy skirts and I'm gonna get longer shirts and I'm gonna look cute finally. COVID's, you know, starting to get better. Things are starting to look up in the world. So I'm excited. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.